Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and today I want to discuss some interesting news that came out in regards to the Modern Warfare multiplayer and what Infinity Ward has planned going forward. So as you guys know, the beta is set to begin for PlayStation 4 fans on September 12th, and that's where the majority of the community is going to start getting their first hands-on experience with the true Modern Warfare multiplayer, not just a 2v2 alpha. There are so many questions surrounding this game and how it's going to play out, but recently we got Got some news about how Infinity Ward plans to try and balance the Modern Warfare multiplayer. In a recent interview with the official PlayStation magazine, Infinity Ward's design director Jeffrey Smith said, and I quote, I think somewhere along the lines, these games have tried to get so balanced, maybe it was esports, it's kind of boiled the fun out of the things when you try to super balance everything. We're just having fun. We want to just be able to climb around and have fun interaction. So from the sounds of it, it appears that Infinity Ward may be taking a different approach when it comes to weapon balance in this year's game. Now this will obviously be a huge point of contention within the community, which is why I wanted to make this video discussing it here today. If you think about it, weapon balance is a very, very tricky thing in the Call of Duty franchise. There is no such thing as perfect balance. I feel as though we've come close a couple of times, but everybody has a different opinion on what balanced is versus what is completely unbalanced, and I know this because I'm going to give a couple of examples here, and I guarantee there will be people down there in the comments who completely disagree with me. So in my opinion, Modern Warfare 2 was probably the closest we've been to proper weapon balance in the Call of to the franchise. We had weapons like the ACR and the M4, the SCAR, the MTAR, the UMP45, and the P90, and of course the M16 and the FAMAS and all of the secondaries. They basically took this approach of if everything was overpowered, then everything is balanced, right? Well, obviously there were some exceptions. There were some really bad guns in that game, but overall, that game seemed to have a lot more viable weapons, even in competitive play, compared to a bunch of other Call of Duty games. I feel so Black Ops 2 was also pretty well balanced, but of course there were always exceptions, always kind of boiled down to a couple of weapons like the M8 or the MSMC, but either way, the game still, in my opinion, had a ton of really viable weapons for both competitive play as well as public play, but there were still some exceptions. I think there's definitely a lot to be said about unbalanced weapons making games more fun, and that's kind of what they're hinting at right here, and it's also something that I've seen a lot of people discussing in the Call of Duty community over the course of the past couple of years. There are lots of people out there who feel as though COD has gotten boring because every time a gun is good or a weapon is super fun, they end up nerfing it into the ground and then it becomes just another weapon within that game's multiplayer. I've actually discussed this several times in previous videos. When something isn't balanced or tuned properly, it can trigger a reaction within the player base. Whether it's the fun reaction that players get from using those setups that are broken or the reaction that people have when they're dying to these setups, Having things in the game that are wildly powerful tend to cause players to experience way more emotions while they're playing. Whether those are good emotions or bad emotions, people are at the very least feeling something rather than just feeling bored. At the same time, when too many of these emotions are negative, it can take the fun out of the game entirely. And for me personally, and feel free to disagree, the case in point would be Modern Warfare 2. I have ranted and raved about that game for years now. I love that game. I hate that game. There are so many good things and bad things about the Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer, but the honest truth is even though I feel as though the weapon balance is really good, I can't play Modern Warfare 2 anymore because of the one man army noob tubes combination. It completely ruins the experience for me. I can die to an ACR all day every day, but when people start pulling out those tubes, it just ruins the entire experience experience for me and makes the game no fun whatsoever. The same is true of Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare Remastered. I absolutely love both of those games, but I have a really hard time going back to play them now because of the Frag Times 3 perk. That perk completely ruins the experience for me because there is nothing more frustrating than trying to play the game, doing well, having fun, and then just dying to people who are constantly throwing grenades. A great example was recently we had a content creator tournament for Modern Warfare Remastered. My team got completely blown out. You're seeing some footage of it on your screen right now. But in between our matches, while we were waiting for everything to get set up, we went to go play public match Search and Destroy. 
and every lobby we got into, at least four of the six people on the other team were running frag times three. Like, we basically could not move out of our spawn for the first 45 seconds of the round because there were just explosives going off constantly, and it made the game no fun to play whatsoever. There is definitely a very fine line that the developers need to walk when it comes to balancing their games. They obviously want to make the games as fun as possible, but they also need to do whatever they can to make players feel like when they do die, it was their fault, or at least make them feel like there was something they could have done better. I know I don't stream Call of Duty very often, I'm much more of a YouTuber as compared to a live streamer, but I obviously play the game a lot, and my friends can tell you that many times during every play session we have on Black Ops 4, I will say something along the lines of, wow, I deserve to die there, my aim was absolutely terrible. One of the reasons why I still have fun with the Black Ops 4 multiplayer is because way more often than not, when I die, it was actually my fault. Now sure, there are some outside factors, mostly pertaining to specialists like the Seeker drone or the Gravity Slam or a War Machine that I just can't avoid, but way more often than not, because of the time to kill that we have in Black Ops 4 and the way the game is designed, I often find myself in these fair fights where I can use my gun skill to come out on top as compared to just randomly dying to some overpowered mechanic. You guys may remember in the past couple of weeks we saw the rise and the fall of the Stingray. That weapon was absolutely broken here in the Black Ops 4 multiplayer. It was no fun to play against whatsoever and Treyarch ended up nerfing it. For the players who were lucky enough to get that gun, or maybe they paid enough to get that gun, I'm really not sure, the game was probably a blast because they had this really powerful weapon that most other people didn't have access to, but on the other end of that, it was no fun to play against that weapon whatsoever because we felt like we couldn't really do anything against it. That's why I'm concerned about Modern Warfare's weapon balance, especially if they put weapons in supply drops like they have every single COD since... God, man, it's been freaking forever now. Going back to Advanced Warfare, if you count the weapon variants, like, it's been insane how much they've added to supply drops over the years, and I'm worried that weapon balance may make or break the Modern Warfare multiplayer. Obviously, fans want to have fun. We would not be playing the Call of Duty franchise if we didn't, but it's super difficult to draw that line between what is fun and what is overpowered. What is a good gameplay experience, what's an engaging gameplay experience, versus what's a frustrating gameplay gameplay experience, it's a very difficult thing to pull off, and I do not envy the task that the developers have ahead of them. I suppose we're going to have to wait for when the beta goes live, because when that happens, we're going to have access to tons of different weapons and attachments and perks, and we're going to see exactly what they have planned for the Modern Warfare multiplayer, but at least for right now, it appears that they're going to try to change up the weapon balance formula a bit with this year's game, which is definitely going to be a big point of contention within the community. I would love to hear what you guys think down down there in the comments, what is your take on this? What do you think Infinity Ward should do when it comes to weapon balance this year, and do you think they should intentionally make some things out of balance to make the game more interesting and more fun? As always, I will keep you guys posted with more details as they become available, but for right now, that's all the information we currently have. Thank you all so much for listening, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.